The Touring Anglers Association is holding their first tournament starting April 1st. That's what we're going to talk about right now. So if you like this kind of content, hit that like and subscribe button and become part of the team and family. I really do appreciate it. There's vlogs, tackle reviews, and lots of other stuff on the channel. And hopefully it helps you become a better informed angler. Well, what was a pipe dream, I think, from Alan Brooks several, several months ago is now come to fruition. Now, it wasn't what he anticipated. He was hoping to get 200 anglers on Lake Lanier and or a place to fish. And they we're going to have some different rules. It's about baby steps. Sure, I'm I'm 100% sure he'd love to have more anglers, but it doesn't always happen that way. He's putting out a great tournament where they're going to give away almost 100% of the, of the entry fees back to the anglers who are in the tournament. And by that, I mean, I think they're only taking out $5,000 and that's exceptional, especially if you're an angler. So April 1st through the 4th, they'll be at Lake Lanier in Georgia. And the guys over there at Fishing North Georgia Outdoors had a podcast with Alan last night and they talked about this upcoming tournament. This is the first one of hopefully several that they're going to be able to do from the Touring Anglers Association. And they have a lot of rules that's going to be very positive for people who don't like forward facing sonar because that's one of the things they're not going to allow you to use. But we'll go into that a little bit in a little bit. If you don't remember, here's some of the things behind the TA is we're going to say it from here on out. They're going to have no practice rounds. They're only going to have a three to four hour ride around Lake Lanier on the first or probably the day before. They're also going to have no live scope, no forward facing sonar, and no 360 imaging. So these guys are going to have to fish. They're going to have to beat the banks. They're going to have to find fish the old fashioned way, the way most anglers right now want them to do. We don't want to see the forward facing sonar or the guys looking down. We want to get back to the roots of fishing. You got to find them, you got to catch them. And there's some really big name anglers that are going to be joining the first tournament. So like I said, they're giving away a majority of the money. For example, with 50 boats, because that's what they think they're going to have right now. They thought they were going to have 130 because they had 130 anglers sign up or express interest. And out of those, 50 put down $5,000. But at 50 boats, $80,000 for first place, $30,000 for second, twenty-five dollars for third, twenty dollars for 20 grand for fourth, 15,000 for fifth, and sixth through 12th get 10K. Also, if you have the biggest fish, you're gonna get an additional $5,000. And when I say some big name anglers are joining the TAA, here is just a few of the notables that I knew, even though they did a whole, you can go on the Fishing North Georgia Outdoors, I'll put a link in the description below, and watch the whole podcast. But John Cox, who's unreal. James Worldwide, I don't wanna say citywide, because that's just a joke. Citywide Watson is in there. Andy Morgan, Brandon Palinick, Chris and Corey Johnson, Keith Carson, J. Todd Tucker, Gussie is going to be there. Jared Littner, Hank Cherry, classic, two-time classic winner, and Jacob Prosnick are just a few of the names that are going to be out there fishing. And without forward-facing sonar, without live scope, all those guys are going to have are going to be going against some local studs and have a good chance of winning some serious money. All anglers are going to fish the first two days, and then the top 12 will fish the third day. And they're asking for help as things go on, but they will be streaming the weigh-in on that Fishing North Georgia Outdoors YouTube channel, I think. I think that's the gist of it. But again, I'll put a link in the description below so you can go to their channel and check everything out. But it sounds like this could be interesting. I think there's actually, there's a little bit of hype or a little bit of momentum going with the TA right now. Now I've listened to a bunch of podcasts and had people text me and so forth. And seeing that they, while it would be great to have 130 anglers, that would be mind boggling for their first tournament. I think they just have to take baby steps and continue to improve the process. And while I hope they do really well, this is great payouts for your top 12 people. This is great. And if they're not, if guys aren't fishing, why not go out and do it? I mean, the sponsors will end up paying for it. And this is a good opportunity to get your name out in a different realm. And while there's a lot of elite and MLF anglers, we're finally going to see some of them go head to head. And that is a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. Really, it's more elite anglers than anything. But if they can put get more, more anglers or have the right dates, we might see some BPT anglers going to it. So anyway, 
If you want more information, I'll put the link in the description below, but you guys tell me what you think. Is it gonna be successful? Is it gonna fall flat on its face? Is this a really good idea? Are you happy they're not using forward-facing sonar and scoping? That's what I wanna know in the comments below. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I will talk to you very, very soon. Thanks and cheers.